You're watching Film Insider. Gladiator 2 is confirmed, although it wasn't until 2021 that the version due to arrive in 2024 was settled on. The first time a Gladiator sequel was put forward by director Ridley Scott was as far back as 2001. Dozens of versions of the project have nearly entered production since, including one that would have been co-produced by Chris Hemsworth. It was in November 2021 that David Scarpa would be joining Ridley Scott to write Gladiator 2 after the pair worked together on Napoleon. And it's this Gladiator sequel which will hit theaters in 2024, although Paramount had already greenlit the project as early as 2018. Get ready to be entertained by another trip to ancient Rome as Gladiator 2 officially arrives in theaters on Friday, November 22, 2024. This date will have the film opening the week before another major blockbuster in Wicked, Part 1 which arrives on November 27, 2024. The Gladiator 2 cast is quickly expanding with so many notable actors attached. The Gladiator sequel will see Academy Award-nominated actor Paul Meskel take on the lead role of Lucius. In Gladiator, Lucius was the son of Roman Empress Lucilla and Lucius Verus, nephew to the villainous Roman Emperor Commodus. In the original film, he was played by Spencer Tree Clark, but Meskel will be taking over the role. Another major actor confirmed to appear in Gladiator 2 with two-time Academy Award winner Denzel Washington. This marks the first time that Washington has starred in a Ridley Scott film in over 15 years, having previously starred in American Gangster. While the name of Washington's character has not yet been revealed, Scott teased that the character will symbolize a life that was forbidden from Maximus in the original film. There are other characters who survived Gladiator that will join the Gladiator 2 cast too. Connie Nielsen will return as Lucilla, Lucius' mother, and Jim and Hounsou will return as Juba, a former Gladiator. The first Gladiator film grossed a whopping total of $503 million at the international box office, exactly quintupling its budget of $103 million. With numbers like that, it seems extremely unlikely that Gladiator 2 would even think of foregoing a theatrical release. Not to mention a spectacle like gladiatorial combat is surely something that patient fans would want to see on the big screen rather than on their computer. That being said, we wouldn't rule out a streaming release, and given that the Gladiator intellectual property is owned by Paramount Pictures, it seems a release on Paramount Plus would be fairly likely. The Gladiator 2 story will take place over 20 years after the events of the original film and follow a now grown Lucius as he takes on Maximus' legacy. Lucius was the son of Lucilla and he had a front row seat to Maximus' story in Gladiator. However, rather than ascending as Caesar, which was his birthright, he was moved by Maximus' sacrifice and bravery and swore to carry on his legacy. Gladiator 2 will likely see Lucius, now a grown man, fighting in the ring as his political ties come back to haunt him. Arguably the biggest star returning for Gladiator 2 is the man in the director's chair, Ridley Scott. Scott is a prolific filmmaker who requires no introduction, with examples of his acclaimed directorial work including Alien, Blade Runner, Thelma and Louise, Black Hawk Down, The Martian, and many more. Penning the screenplay for Gladiator 2 is David Scarpa, who previously collaborated with Scott as the writer for All the Money in the World. The Gladiator 2 trailer has not yet been released. However, the movie is midway through filming and due to arrive in 2024, so a Gladiator 2 trailer will likely arrive at some point the same year. Filming for Gladiator 2 began in June 2023, primarily in Morocco, with additional filming taking place in Malta and the United Kingdom. Filming was halted in July due to the SAG after strikes. However, when the strike ended in early November 2023, Gladiator 2 was announced as one of the first titles to go back into production. One of the reasons for the rush was to ensure that Pedro Pascal would not have a scheduling conflict with filming The Last of Us Season 2. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.